Hey guys, it's Julia. I'm thrilled to be over back on the Alleyway Stamps YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing a card that I created using the Moosing You mini stamp set from the Alleyway Stamps. So to begin the card, I stamped out the moose and oh my goodness, how cute is this moose? I think I will get a lot of use out of him for the um, fall and winter months and I can't wait to share those projects with you. But anyhow, I digress. Back to this moose, I am going to stamp him out using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto a piece of 100 pound Spectrum Noir cardstock and then I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers to color him in. The reason I stamped him out first was because it's the first time I've used this stamp and I always like to do that before I stamp onto my good cardstock just in case anything, um, or just in case the stamp doesn't stamp perfectly the first time which can happen. So to start coloring in my moose, I colored in his antlers as well as his feet using EB1. And then I'm going to use EB2 to create the um, shading and dimension. I wanted to go fairly subtle on um, both of these areas because they are kind of like a creamy white, but I didn't want to keep it too creamy because I plan to add a lot of um, interest to the back of the card panel so I didn't I wanted the moose to stick out so that's why I kind of went a little bit darker than I maybe normally would have. I'm blending out that EB2 using my lighter which is EB1 and then I will do the same thing on the feet there. I felt like I maybe blended a little bit too much so I will go back with my EB2 to add a little bit more shading and then I will not blend that out. I started to color in my whole mousse using EB2 and I'm doing that because I wanted to lay a, a light base layer but I also um, wanted it to be um, a similar tone as the antlers. So. Um, Oh, <laughs> this is Zoe. She's my white miniature schnauzer. She loves to sit on my lap, so sometimes she sits on me while I'm coloring, and in that case, she kind of stepped out onto my desk. So that's Zoe. She's one half of Z squared. My other dog is Zip. Anyhow, I am finished laying down that base layer of EB2, so I'm going in to add my shading with my darkest color, which is GB10. I tend to go to this color um, very regularly, especially when I'm coloring um, critters that are kind of like brown tone. I just love the um, warmness of this GB10. Next, I'm going to use GB8 to blend out that darkest color, and then I will um, take my lightest EB2 to blend out the rest of the mousse. I made sure to leave a nice highlight right on his side because I felt like it made him look nice and round, and who doesn't love a chubby little mousse? And then I realized, whoops, I forgot to do the face, so I'm doing that last. I'm following the exact same steps using the darkest GB10, and then I will blend that out with my GB8, and then I will blend everything together with my EB2. I colored in those little nostrils as well using the GB10, which was my darkest color. Once I'm finished coloring in the mousse, I will just use my scissors and fussy cut him out, leaving a small white border. There are digital SVG files for this as well, but for some reason I just grabbed my scissors and kind of went with it. Next I'm going to go ahead and create my watercolor background. I'm using two colors of Distress Ink. I'm using um, Evergreen Bow and Gathered Twigs. So the Evergreen Bow is the um, greeny color that I'm using now and then the Gathered Twigs is the brown. And I started with a piece of watercolor paper and laid down a little bit of water and then I am letting that water move my color around as I add it to my paper. I think that another fun way to do this background would have been ink smooshing, but I just had all of my painting supplies out so I just used that. I dried that green evergreen bough and then I went ahead and added on some of the gathered twigs. I felt like that kind of washed out the green a little bit too much so once the brown was dry I went in and added another layer of the evergreen bough and then I hit that with my heat tool to dry it. I did cut this front panel down to about a quarter of an inch smaller than an A2 card. So I believe in the end the panel is about five, sorry, um, 
I guess to cut it down half an inch smaller, so it's five by three and three quarters. Next, I'm using a homemade stencil and some pearly embossing pap sorry, pearly embossing paste to create a little bit of dimension and interest on the background of the card. This is just a homemade stencil that I created um, with my Silhouette Portrait Machine and a piece of acetate. Just like a normal stencil, you just want to wash that off as soon as you're finished using the embossing paste because once it's dry, it's really hard to, um, to wash away. For my sentiment, I use the Moussine U that comes in the stamp set and normally it, or when you uh, receive the stamps, it's um, two, two lines. So I cut that apart so that I could stamp it onto one line. I'm stamping using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and then I sprinkled on some Ranger Super Fine Clear Embossing Powder and then zapped that with my heat tool. Next, I'm matting on my watercolor background onto a piece of dark charcoal cardstock, and I'm doing the exact same thing with my greeting. You can see that I left quite a bit of extra space on the um, right hand side of that greeting, and that is so that I can tuck it behind the mousse when I'm ready. I don't normally do this, but I had some black foam tape on hand, so I use black foam tape to back the entire part of my front panel, and that gives it a little bit of dimension and lift, and the reason I use the black is just so that you wouldn't see the white foam tape um, behind that charcoal panel. I'm happy with how this turned out, and I really like how solid the card is when I use that foam tape, so I think I'll have to pick up more of that. Next, I just adhered that whole panel to my card, and I'm going to do the same thing with my greeting. I'm just using my plain permanent tape runner to do this, and to adhere the mousse down, I use some clear foam squares. As a finishing touch, I added some clear wing of Stella to the antlers, and I felt like that matched the pearly background very nicely. I also um, added just a little bit of black gel pen to add some shiny, um, very subtle dimension to the eyes. That finishes my card for today. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I will be back over on the Alleyway Stamps YouTube channel in a few days to share a brand new project. Until then, take care. Bye!